Hello everyone, Okianski here, and welcome to a brand new scripting tutorial. Today, I want to be showing you guys how you can suspend a unanchored part in the air. As many of you know, if a part is unanchored, it generally falls to the floor. But today, we're going to be inserting a body force and manipulating its force property to keep the ball suspended in the air to act as an anti-gravity force. I can find the gravitational force of any object in Roblox by taking the workspace's gravity and multiplying it by the mass of a part. I can make the output print, this out, print out this force and then just copy and paste it into the Y component of my body force object. Since this is in the opposite direction of where the gravity is pulling, my part is now completely suspended. If I go ahead and increase this number just a little bit, the anti-gravity becomes stronger than the gravity and the ball goes up. If I make this number a little bit less, the anti-gravity is weaker and the ball falls, but just at a slower rate now. All right, let's go ahead and delete the body force object and let's insert a script. And I want to show you how we can have a script do this for us instead of having to do it manually. I want to start by getting the part and since I put the script inside the part that's just going to be script.parent and then I can make a new body force object by doing instance.new body force. I'm going to use my anti-gravity formula from before gravity times the mass of the part by doing part get mass and then I'll apply the force uh, onto body force by making a new vector 3 and putting the anti-gravity in the Y component. And then lastly, we just have to parent that body force to the part we actually want to act the force upon. And then when I run it, we should have, once again, a exact same result, a suspended part in the air. If I go ahead and add a little multiplier to this anti-gravity, uh, we can make it stronger or weaker. So if I multiply it by 1.1 here, I made it a little stronger, and now the ball flies straight up. You can play around with the ball and watch it be completely unaffected by gravity, like so. All right, so here's a little example of a fountain I made where parts are constantly being cloned in the top of the fountain and then given a velocity that shoots them into the air. Uh, right now, it looks a little bit uh, hard to look at because parts are just kind of flying everywhere, so I decided to add a body force to it to give it a sense of anti-gravity. And for the Y component of the force, I just made it uh, slightly weaker than the anti-gravity needed to suspend it by doing get mass times gravity times 0.9, just to make it a little bit weaker. And then I played around with the velocity that I added to each particle or part, and it turned out really nice. It made it a little bit more dramatic and much, much easier to look at, and overall much more prettier. You can download this project in the description below, and if you have any questions, feel free to send them to me in the comments or on Discord. I'll see you guys in the next one.